Hey, my name is Matt Store, and I repair saxophones for a living. I want to show you something I um, don't get to see too often. This is the old Martin, and people talk about the Martin soldered tone holes. Just wanted to show you what one looked like off and what the failures can look like. Um, now, these are actually pretty durable. You hear about uh, them leaking. It doesn't happen very often in my experience. This one actually had had some pretty significant damage here, but it wasn't actually leaking. It was actually still holding on. Now all this junk here, some of it is corrosion, but um, the person who owned this a long time ago uh, had actually put like some like putty in here. I guess they thought maybe to keep it from leaking if it was, but actually the tone hole was still attached here, and you can see the solder is clean. Um, it's got some corrosion down around here, but it was actually starting to leak right here, and this is typically what it looks like. It was just a little bit light and it was starting to oxidize from one side. Now if we look at the tone hole itself, uh, let's see, it goes this way, boom. Um, this area, that's where the damage was. You can see the solder on the inside here was still holding on, but the solder on the outside was not, and that's where that like putty had been placed because you could see it visibly from the outside that there was a big gap there, but it was actually holding on. Now the place where it was oxidizing, was right here and you can see that it was actually it's see how it's a different color it's darkened um, it was actually starting to sort of have a little pinhole leak there now i was able to get this off now that's corrosion i was able to get this off without burning any lacquer which is a bit of a surprise to me and what i'll do is i will remove all this old solder from both surfaces and when i put it back on after getting this dent out here um, you can flow the solder in a little bit at a time. When you're taking it off, everything has to be hot at the same time for it to pop off. That's when you're going to burn lacquer if you're going to. Um, ow. Uh, but putting it back in, I'll be able to flow it around, 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 around. And I anticipate when I get this back on that it'll, you know, you'll be able to tell that I soldered it back on, but it won't be completely roasted. Especially considering, you know, there was a bunch of corrosion there. You can see that key guard, for whatever reason, just had a bunch of corrosion around the feet. Um, and I took that off because that needs cleaned and resoldered as well. But that's where the pinhole leak was. And uh, that's what the tone hole looks like underneath. And here's what the rim or ring, tone hole ring, tone hole uh, chimney, I guess, looks like. And you can see that bevel on the inside there. Pretty cool shape and you can see it's you know it's pretty flat right even after all it's been through these martin tone holes are pretty durable and i think because the kind of things that can happen to them are unusual compared to other saxophones and not a failure mode that other saxophones have um, people can get scared away by them but they're actually really durable and they're not insanely hard to get uh, worked on either and you know if they are damaged or bent you can actually take them off and do work on them to straighten them out. But this one looks like it's pretty good. So that is an example of a Martin tone hole. I mean, this horn is from the 30s, I think, 40s. Let's see, what's the serial number? Uh, 144 something. And it's been re-lacquered. I mean, it's really, someone actually used this and, you know, gigged on it and had a lot of work done to it. Every other tone hole looks totally fine. You can see, you know, just everything's great with it, even though it's really been through the ringer. I mean, there's a bunch of dent work I'm going to have to do up here, but even the tone holes really close to the dents are just fine. So pretty rare occasion to have to take these off, but if you do, they're fixable, and that's what it looks like. Hope you found this helpful, useful, informative. My name is Matt Storr. I repair saxophones for a living. Thanks for watching.